Yo, what's up guys, Shijiki Dink here, and welcome to a video all about pizza. Pizza of all things, actually, yes. I decided, I've been watching this channel called First We Feast, and if you haven't heard of it, then you're living under a rock, because they have some of the best celebrity interviews, uh, while well, they eat like hot wings and answer questions, it's awesome. And then they have this episode uh, or a series called Sean in the Wild or Food Skills or something like that where they go into all these different types of food. And uh, I've been trying a lot of them and it's just like spur of the moment today I decided like, well, I'm just gonna try like recording myself trying to make one of these. So the thing I'm trying to make is a Milan style pizza. And at the end of the video, I will link to the videos. There's two videos. Um, one where they actually show like how they make it, which is like way better <laughs> than I can, but they have like, it's, it's, a, it's a restaurant, right? It's in New York, so if you're in New York, you check them out. Um, and then there's another video where they kind of talk about making a pizza at home. And so I kind of took elements from both of those and tried to do the best that I could to, to imitate this pizza. And uh, it, this is a pretty short video, <laughs> you know, I just kind of like, uh, as I was going along, I was like, oh, this is why I'm doing this, this is why I'm doing this, so. Anyways, I hope you guys um, enjoy it, you know, uh, let me know if you, any pizza recipes that you have or any certain types of pizzas that uh, you have made before that might differ from like a traditional pizza. And uh, also I've been thinking about making another Dark Dink cooking video. So what do you think would be hilarious for Dark Dink to make? All those things aside, we'll see you in the comments and enjoy the video. So this is the start of my Milan style pizza. So I have prepared some onions here and I got my pot on the stove and I'm gonna put the uh, tomato paste in the pot. All we're gonna add to it is a little bit of butter, which I got beside here. Uh, the onions, some salt, some pepper, and some garlic, and we're gonna let it sit for 45 minutes. I've also got my pizza stone in the oven preheating. Uh, it's supposed to be up to 475, but we're not there yet. Traditionally, they do it at 800 degrees, but they can't get there, so I'm doing as best I can. I got my pepperoni in the background, just chilling. All right, so now you can see it's kind of simmering a little bit. I turned the heat down just a little bit. I was cooking it on medium, um, but it was just a little bit too hot, so now we're like medium low. I'm gonna stir it in our pots and <laughs> swing around in circles with us. So as you can see, we have our mozzarella chopped into thick chunks instead of actually like uh, shredded. So give it a lot more cheesy taste to it. Uh, it's gonna be like a lot of cheese. I'm super excited for this. If you're a pizza connoisseur, I'm sure you're with me. What you doing, Gabe? What you doing, Gabe? What you doing? What you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, you get that toy. See ya. So it's been about 45 minutes. The sauce is done. We're gonna put it on there. Our stone is all heated up. And we're gonna put our cheese on and our pepperoni. Now it's time to cook. The sauce just goes on with the ladle. And just kind of slowly turn it out like that. Nothing fancy to it. Never have too much sauce, by the way, either. As they say, sauce is the boss. So this was 200 grams of pizza pepperoni, which was pretty much the perfect amount to fit on two of these little pizzas. So I'm just gonna put our cheese on now. So the cheese is on the pizza now, and it's time to go in the oven. And because we preheated it for an hour at 475, see it passed a shit all over the place. <laughs> uh, we're only gonna bake it for 10 minutes. That will make sure that you don't burn the crust, but that the cheese will melt nice and tenderly. So now I've cut the pizza. It's all done, guys. My pizza, oh, the pizza's ready to eat. That's a lot of freaking cheese. <laughs> Anyways, hope you like this video, guys. See you in the next one. Woo.